Today I'm going to be reviewing the Hupar laser. I got the green beam laser off Amazon. Uh, it was on sale. I got it for 56 bucks plus tax. Just trying to compare it here to the DeWalt DW089. It's a corner laser, so it has the corner function. Like that, good for, uh, you know, when you got to frame in both directions, whether you're doing bulkheads or walls, it's basically has the function of two lasers in one. Also has the cross beam too. Your horizontal line for ceilings and whatnot. So yeah, basically you want to see what this little guy can do. Uh, this one was 400 bucks. This one was 65 bucks. So there's a big difference. Also, uh, as you can see, this is the red beam. The hue part features a green beam. And uh, the green beam is supposed to be uh, easier to see in the light. So, you know, if you're doing something, doing work by, uh, you know, sunlight and it gets hard to see what you're doing, well, the green line actually is supposed to be better in the light. And as you can see here, I think the green is a lot brighter than the red. Very impressive the power that this little guy holds. They both run on four AA batteries. Um, let's see here. So the Hupar has a lock. You have to unlock the, uh, it allows it to self balance. Like it allows, unlocks the pendulum, whatever you call it there. When you hold down the power button, the Hupar has got two se uh, settings. So if, as you can see, that's a lot brighter there. The DeWalt does none of those things. Um, This one doesn't have the corner function, but I mean, the cheap DeWalt laser that you buy in comparable to this is 169, and it does the exact same thing this one does, but it's the red beam. And in my opinion, the green beam is much brighter. I mean, look at that. Used it one day on the job, so, uh, and I had no problems with it at all. Uh, I heard the battery life is a little bit harsh, but it is with any green laser, so that's not uncommon. To shut it off, you got to lock it. Hold down the power button. Off. All right, well, let's uh, do a test here and see what the accuracy of this laser is. Let's see if it's accurate. Comes with a, a mounting stand. You mount the magnet on there, screw it onto the bottom. Do that. You don't want to tighten this too much because if you do, then it doesn't really allow the laser to pivot if you over tighten it. See, so as you can see here. It's stopping. So let's give her a try here. We'll uh, stick her on the whole handy dandy fridge, side of the fridge. And we'll unlock it. And there it's on. Going over back to the DeWalt. Trying to line them up. Having some trouble adjusting here. So yeah, I'd say they're pretty close to each other. As you can see here, the Hupar is following the DeWalt line well, and I know my DeWalt is very accurate because uh, it's brand new. I just bought it. They both seem to be very consistent with each other, and uh, I'm very impressed with the quality of this Hupar laser. I'm gonna let you guys know and update you guys and let you know the longevity of this thing, the battery life, but uh, I just wanted to give an opening up video.
kind of show you what it is about in my experience so far. Um, also, it comes with this nice little case. Not as big as the DeWalt. I mean, the DeWalt is much more sturdy. It also comes with this little thing. So if you're trying, if you are working in a very lit area and it's hard to see the laser line, it's much easier to see when using either green lens glasses or red lens glasses if you're using the red laser. As you can see here, it stands out. When green is on green, it really stands out. So that's what that's for. You can line up your lines. You know, you can set it on that end of your layout line like this and you line up the laser from the start of your layout line and, and you put that on the end of it and uh, it'll help you find it. So yeah, very handy little tool. Thanks for watching.